North America where I can speak to best, palm oil is still not really revered as a, an oil uh, to be used on the day to day. In fact, it's considered a real tropical oil. Uh, people have been in love for a very long time with olive oil and more recently coconut oil. Uh, and my job in the last few years has been to try to educate them on the virtues that lie beyond olive oil. I think uh, palm oil is in fact much healthier than olive oil. But they're still stuck in this contention that saturated fats are harmful to your heart, uh, your cardiovascular system, by clogging the arteries. So this misconception has now been debunked over the last 23 years or so. Uh, more recently, compiled metadata, meta-analyses meta have been done to show there's really only neutrality uh, around saturated fats. That is to say, they don't contribute to heart disease, and they probably don't reverse heart disease, but they certainly don't cause it. And the virtues that people are still unaware of as it relates to palm fruit oil, in particular red palm fruit oil, which I'm in love with, uh, is this one-two punch of tocotrienols and then the carotenoids, which give it that very vibrant, ready orange color. Those two things are not found in any of these other oils, and if people understood the virtues of this, and this extends to cardiovascular, heart health, brain health, liver health, uh, skin, hair and nails, immune function, anti-aging, uh, if they understood that, and of course they didn't mind their food turning a little bit pink sometimes, uh, then I think that they'd be more likely to, to consume it. I think we need to promote palm oil as it relates to what we're currently suffering with in society. And what we're suffering with is cardiovascular disease. You know, it's actually more prevalent in women, and that's another shocker. There used to be a misconception that it was more of a guy's disease. You know, 50% of heart attacks are silent, all right? And, and that's something we have to pay attention to. Two, cognitive decline is on the rise. So Alzheimer's disease through to generally, you know, uh, mental aging, acuity, Parkinson's disease, that's all on the rise. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, okay, this is where the liver gets strided with fat tissue, and this is on the rise significantly as well, largely because of the obesity epidemic.